Welcome back everyone to Neo Racing's online championship. This is the feature race from Silverstone. Off we go. We're on board the channel for the start. What a start from the rear wheel drive BMW. Two places already. Three places already. Goes, up, goes into third from the, at the start. Into the first corner. Everyone's through there well. And sorry for the cameras, folks, but the cameras on Silverstone are rubbish. And then down towards Maggots. Neil's on the inside of Keith. And Stevie's going to be the inside of Keith in a minute, I think. Apologies for the rubbish cameras, ladies and gentlemen. We do zoom in a bit too much, but I, I can't. I, I have not got no control over that, unfortunately. So Keith is up the inside of Stevie here. There's TYV's lights on in the other green began behind because he has to start from the back because he won the sprint race. So everyone looks like they're around the first lap, okay. Much better start for Jamo in this one than compared to the last race. When he ended up finding a wall. So the complete lap one. Vince is in the lead from Blakeney, Jamo, Neil, Keith, Stevie, TY and Mr. Slow One brings up the rear. There's Stevie coming through the cops. There's TY making his way up the pack. When it wakes up. There we are. We head out of uh, Mackets and Beckett's down the Wellington Strait. It's all a bit close behind. Two eyes having a look around. Stevie is going to try and look the long way around. No, I have to back out of that. Stevie had a little bit of a twitch there, didn't it? Ty think twice. Stevie's having a look at Keith. He's having a good look at Keith. He's trying to keep on the inside to hug the inside. As he comes through Woodcote. The end of lap two. And we've got strategy in this as well because there's pit stops as well. Blakeney's still keeping with Bidster up front. Bidster will want to try and make as much of a gap he can, but he'll try, he'll try. But TY's pace again, as usual, is really good this weekend. So I'm sure TY will soon find a way to these these lot having a midfield battle. And he'll try and get us. And speaking of battle. Stevie runs wide, TY's up the inside, and I think TY's got that position, so that's one more position for TY on his way to catching Bidster. He's on to defend from Stevie now, because Stevie's right behind him. He's not gonna be saying to Stevie, if you're running around me, mate, you run around the long way. And manages to defend it well. Into a field. Here he is. Here's Jamo having a good race. Jamo's in the pits. Jamo's pitting early, so he's going to get out of the way of all the traffic, so uh, possibly a good strategy here from Jamo. So there he goes into the pits. So we resume battle uh, in the middle. Keith is chasing down Neil. And TY is chasing down Keith. Keith runs a little bit wide there. They might be in the same colours, but I can tell you they're not teammates. Keith runs a bit hot into the corner though. TY's up the inside, and I think TY's just going to grab it on the overrun. Well, actually, no, I don't think so. Keith's still in there. He's not going to give up Whiteley. He's having a little sniff at Neil as well, but no, Neil manages to keep the pace. We're on the outside of the corner. The exit will feel. Well, that's that lap five, Bidster's got what, uh, just over a second and a half on Blakeney now, he's really trying to pull a lead. Meanwhile, the three of them battling for third place. There's Neil, Keith, T.Y. into Cox, T.Y.'s right behind Keith now, he's never looking to Maggots, will Keith defend? Into the Maggots and then the Beckett's right, onto the Wellington straight, here we go, Keith covers it off, goes for a defensive line. Does he manage to get it stopped this time? Yes, he does. Manages to cover it off. Two eyes are just keep trying to go around the outside again. Trying to keep the pace. No, he's not. He's tucked back in. Does he go down the Wellington straight? Into Brooklyn's. Keep from to touch wide though, T.Y. is going to steer around the outside, he'll either try and steer around the outside or get a cut back and he's just going to try and steer around the outside of Keith. 
very brave there from TY and it, uh, well, Keith Pitts anyway Keith Pitts running up for that on the pit try and get some track position and see where it comes out so he goes into the pits here's Bidster out front still can't manage to get to the two second gap on Blakeney but he's still trying he's keeping it consistent but he'll want to get a move on because TY's got some bit, a little bit of clear air now so he'll be monitoring this Bidster always aware of his surroundings meanwhile there's Blakeney and Neil the TY close got onto the back of Neil so where's Keith come out in re retrospective to Jamo there's Keith coming down the pit lane there's Jamo coming down the pit straight into Cox Keith has Keith got off the limit here yeah, Keith's off the limiter now he's going he's going he's going there's Jamo who's going to get out ahead come on camera Jamo just gets ahead of Keith so good call there by Jamo to come in a little bit earlier he's, kept the, he's got track position on Keith so let's see what we can do now with that clear track that they've got to try and catch the rest so here's Neil with T.Y. right behind him T.Y. runs a little bit wide now I think he's getting a bit impatient wants to try and get past get, get close enough to Bidster with his championship rival to get as many points as he can to try and get more of an advantage for Brands Hatch GP which is next week so as he come down the straight I think yeah Bids has managed to pull away from Blakeney a bit whether Blakeney's made a mistake or Bids has actually pulled out a gap I'm not sure but uh, T.Y. is still behind Neil and he's going through Luffield still close Anyone dart into the pits this time? No. No one's pitted this time. As we come through towards Cops, there's T.Y. going to have a little think about it. No. Steve Bine. Neil takes a slightly defensive line there, but nothing too drastic. And there's a come up down towards Maggots and Beckett's now. In towards Maggots and Beckett's. Neil Locker a bit squirmy there under the brakes but managed to get it stopped and they've really closed onto the back of Blakeney now so Blakeney's falling back we'll see why I have another look now into Brooklands see why having a look he's up the inside he's having a dart for the inside makes it stick good move there from T.Y. that's another position gain but now he's got to try and get past Blakeney So, good move there from T.Y. Straight to the inside, textbook into Brooklyn's good move. Meanwhile, I can tell you a bit further back, Jamo and Keith are still together, but they're not trying to battle each other, they're trying to keep as much pace as they can to try and catch these block when they do make the pit stop, so they'll not be helping themselves with this little battle, that'll be slowing them all up. Neil's having a little look at T.Y. T.Y. has to defend from Neil while he's still trying to look at Blakeney. T.Y. runs a touch wide. Will Neil be able to get up the inside? No. Doesn't manage to get up the inside that time. Need to come down the straight. Towards Brooklands. Will anyone dart into the pitch this time, I wonder? Blakeney's a little bit slower through there. T.Y. might have a little look. Neil's going to have a look at T.Y. as well. So I think Blake is really not on the pace at the minute, he's holding these two up. Will any, any, anyone decide to pit this time? No. I can tell you Bidster's not pitted either, he's still ahead. You can see there in the distance there's Bidster, so... Still trying to, still all keeping it together. Blake is slightly defends, TY's going to uh, try and get a good run here. Blake still keeps it to the inside, he's saying no you're not going around the outside if you're going around me pal. So as they come down towards Maggots and then Beckett, the Beckett's right, little king there, Maggots and into the Beckett's. Blaney runs a little bit, a bit hot, but so does T.Y. Nothing to be gained there, so we're on lap, so we're on lap, we're approaching lap 10 now, in fact, no, sorry, we are on lap 10 now, so we're halfway through this 20 lap race with pit stops. This feature race. Will T.Y. have another look like what he did to Neil? Now Blaney covers him off. Slows them both up, Neil will have a little look here. Neil's made a little error in the background as consequent of that little manoeuvre. I think he got startled there by the darting around of the two cars in front of him. So will anyone pit this time? Will anyone pit? 
completely was going to pit, but TY's going in. TY's in the pits. So this is going to be crucial now. Get it stopped and down speed Neil's in as well. So Blakeney goes round. Meanwhile, a little bit further back here is Jammo and Keith. These are the back ones that they need to get out ahead of. It's a very slow pit lane here at uh, Silverstone. It's uh, 37 miles an hour all the way down. Here's Mr. Slow One into the pits. He comes. He's still trying to keep on the pace. So good work from uh, from Mr. Slow One there. Slow it down. Otherwise, you'll get a penalty. Wow, that was fast into the pit lane there. There's Blakeney and Bidster. Will Blakeney and Bidster pit this time? Anyway, let's see where these lot come out in retrospect. So there they are coming down the pit lane. T.Y. and Neil. Here's Jamo coming into the first corner. Let's keep an eye on this now. Looks like Jamo might get ahead of T.Y. here. Let's see where they all rejoin. T.Y.'s coming out of the pits there. T.Y. is behind Jamo. They didn't want that at all. Neil's come out behind Keith, but ahead of Stevie. So Jamo is in front of all the people that have made pit stops. Blakeney's ahead, Bidster's in. So this will be fun to see where Bidster gets out as well. Blakeney's gone round. So Blakeney's leaving it late this time. So was, so the order after the pit, so the order of the people who pitted is Jamo, T.Y., Keith, Neil, Stevie, and Mr. Slow One. So T.Y. runs a little bit wide there. He's, I don't think he's happy about coming out behind Jamo. But Jamo's got good pace in the BMW. And Keith will try and stick with these two as well. So here's Bidster. Bidster's off the pit limit. You can just hear his car go in there. So Bidster gets out ahead of these lot as Jamo and the rest come through. Cox there. So Bidster still kept his good gap. So I wonder if Blakeney will pit this lap. Here's Blakeney. Will Blakeney pit? Nope, Blakeney goes round again. So. The, well, so this would be the theoretical battle for the lead because Blakeney should come out just in that pack so this is Bids doing the lead Jamo and T.Y. are side by side in the background T.Y. wants to get past Jamo he's not wasting any time he's got past Jamo into Brooklands so I think he had a good run on the straight there as well so whether Jamo made an error at the previous corner I don't know but um, T.Y. get through into third place or theoretically second place once the Blakeney makes his pit stop because I think Blakeney's lost a bit of time on track I think as well so we'll see how that affects everything so here's uh, Jamo keeping the behind T.Y. there's Neil and Stevie in the background there's Bidster in the lead on lap 13 oh very hot into there though really trying to keep the gap to T.Y. as it is, I don't want T.Y. close but I do think T.Y. with the pace T.Y.'s had he'll be on the back of Bidster just before the end of the race so we'll see how things pan out there so there's Jamo with uh, Keith behind him so it's all starting to settle down a bit more now after the pit stop so Blakeney's in, I can tell you Blakeney's in the pits as you can see the time going down So there's T.Y. on the move, up to try and catch Bidster. Come down towards Cops. Where's Blakeney? Blakeney's coming down the pitch. There's Blakeney coming down the pitch. So, so T.Y.'s gone through, Jamal's gone through, Keith's gone through. Will Neil go through as well? So Blakeney has lost some time there. Where's Neil in retrospective to all this? Give us a bit of camera angle. Blakeney is out ahead of Neil. Neil's over the curve. He's really trying to hassle Blakeney. He's just, just come out of the pits. He's dead down towards Brooklands. Neil a bit late on the brakes has to dart out to the right either that or Blakeney was early on the brakes because Neil's going to try and keep around the outside now to get the inside for Luffield he's up the inside Blakeney's going to try and keep it around the outside keep the speed but I don't think he's going to do it Neil's ahead Neil takes fifth place from Blakeney will Blakeney fight back looks like he's going to Blakeney looks like he's got a good open speed here goes darts to the inside to try and get the inside into Cops into Cox, Neil's just ahead though, Blakeney has to back out of it, Neil takes the line for the corner and Blakeney has to settle for 6th place. 
So that power that all got resolved and here's Keith in fourth place. Taking a bit of curve while he's at it. TY has closed up to Bidster. It's, it's almost it's almost a one second gap now. He's closed it up by about uh, half a second, so looks like TY is really on the money here. So let's keep an eye on this now. Bidster, yeah, he's, Bidster's falling back. Bidster's not got the same pace that he had before. TY's on it. So as we start lap 16. The order is Bidster from TY, from Jamo, from Keith, Neil, Stevie, Blakeney, and Mr. Slow One rounds out the rounds out all eight. Have to come down now towards Maggot and to Beckett. Okay, TY's right behind Bidster now, so Bidster's lost all this time. He'll not want to let TY go through. So here we go folks, here's your battle. Bidster versus TY, round 240. <laughs> Bidster defends. In towards Brooklands. Here we are, folks. Here's the battle. It's on between TY and Bidster. Every point counts for Bidster here. He does not want to let TY get two in a row. As we come down through Woodcut. Down towards Cops. Down towards the first corner. Bidster defends slightly, but don't want to defend too much, otherwise he'll lose too much speed. Coming out the corner. Two wires right behind him now. is going to move to the inside. Two wires trying to keep with him. Bidster defends. He's on the curve and all sorts. He's trying to use the curve to try and get around the corner. It helps. It works. <laughs> The, uh, go down the Wellington straight. Bits to the fence, says T.Y. If you're going to go around me, you're going to go around the long way. As they come into Brooklands. Coming towards Brooklands, T.Y.'s gone a bit wide up. I think there was a little bit of lag there from T.Y., but I don't think it's too much to affect. Bits is having to defend now. Really trying to keep it up tight. Well, uh, give T.Y. a millimetre. As they head down to Woodcut and down towards Cops. Bits to defend. Keeps to the inside, doesn't want to defend too much though. If he keeps that too much of a tight line, he'll not be able to get out the corner very well. So here we go into Cops. Two eyes going to try and stick it around the outside. No, can't manage to get that to stick. So Bits to defend again. Three laps to go. Defends into Beckicks on the curb again. I think he's really found a good way to defend through that corner. But he's lost the speed though. Two eyes. You see the, up in the top left corner, there's hardly anything between them. Biz is going to have to really pull out the defensive book here if he wants to keep T.Y. behind. Goes into Brooklands. T.Y. is going to try and keep round the outside and get the inside into the field. But no, Biz cuts him off, just slices him off. Well, Biz has run a touch wide though, don't leave any room for T.Y. to sniff because he'll be up there. He just keeps it off. We'll stick with this battle because there's not many other battles happening on the track at this moment in time, so we'll stick with this. We start lap 19, two laps to go for Bidster here. Can he keep TY behind? Runs a bit wide into Cops. TY's got a good run, he's darted out to the left. But it's the wrong side to go. Bidster's going to have to defend here on the brakes late. Tries to use the curb but can't get hold of it this time. Manages to keep up the inside. T.Y. is on the left. Has he got enough room to move back across? No, he hasn't. T.Y. is on the inside this time for Brooklands. As they come down towards Brooklands, T.Y. is on the inside. T.Y. has managed to make it stick through the previous corner. Bister moves to the outside to try and get a cut back in. T.Y. runs a touch wide. Bister is going to try and cut back in and keep around the outside for Luffield. And that's never going to work. Bister runs too wide. Trying to cut back, and T.Y. is ahead. T.Y. is ahead, he's done it with two laps remaining. As we head on to the last lap, Bits will be kicking himself for that. Got caught out. T.Y. managed to get a good run out of Beckett's and then get up, up to the inside. So this is the last lap in towards Cop. Bits is right behind. He's not, he doesn't want to let T.Y. win this race. And he's going to really start trying here. He's flashing his lights in frustration. Into, into Maggots, Beckett's for the last time, Bits is late on the brakes, don't hit each other boys, not now, T.Y.'s run a bit wide, 
A little bit of a lock up there, Beasters closed up behind and he's, to, he's not close enough though, he's going to have to get the draft and try and get try and get uh, any advantage down towards Brooklyn's that he can, and TY's ahead enough so he doesn't feel as he has to defend, Beasters are going to be trying to be late on the brakes here, he's going to try anything he can but I don't think he's close enough. Trying to mow the lawn as well, anything he can to try and get up the inside but no, TY's I think done enough here. As he's at the last corner, TY wins the feature race at Silverstone, makes it a perfect weekend with fastest lap in both races. Well done to TY, bids to his second place, good effort. Jammer of third place, a much better uh, race than his first. Keith fourth, Neil in fifth, followed by Stevie in sixth place. Blakeney, after a good, a promising start, seventh place from Blakeney. Yeah, he had a good start, but it's just, uh, I think lost momentum and fell back. And here's Mr. Slow on. Hopefully he won't live up to his name for too long. We'll get him up to speed, we'll get him battling with the rest. So good work there by everyone. So there's your winner, TY. So yep, thanks for watching everyone. That was the feature race from Silverstone. We'll see you next time for the finale at Grand Hatch GP Circle. Take care, guys.